Christian. For a large part of its history, the Southern Baptist Church supported white supremacy and resisted the black civil rights movement. Earlier in its history, it even supported slavery. Slavery was a fact, and even though you would think that it would be different for a religious convention or for, uh, or for a religious denomination, it did not concern me because I saw the changes that were happening in the convention once I became a part of it. with 5,000 members. When, if it's expected, he becomes president of the Southern Baptist Convention, he'll speak for 15 million members in thousands of churches across the United States. But he knows there are some who will be angry a black man is head of the church. I'm sure there are some who are, but uh, there's nothing we can do about it. We just got to make sure that we can do our part to let the people who want to come and be a part of this to know that this convention doors are open to anybody and everybody. Fred Luther helped write the church's apology for its support of slavery. 